Welcome. This would be my first audio commentary playthrough of Navisgain. Let's see how far we can go on day one. Navisgain, when you spawn in, you'll always spawn in near a spawn house and a car with all the stuff you can loot to get you started. And let's get these quests on the go and get them out of the way. I know exactly where I am. I am currently just around the corner from Dyersville. And just over the hill from the cornfields. So I want to get over there as quickly as possible. I want to avoid Dyersville at all costs right now because of dogs. My latest current game I'm playing is on day 640. And this is the exact same spot I spawned in on that game. And I literally made it to the end of the street within 30 seconds of this playthrough. And it was attacked by a dog and died on the spot. That's how bad the dogs are in this game. Gonna check this. What do we get? Flashlight could be handy. So I want to grab enough plant fiber for my bed roll and my clothing that I need to make. Start with my bed roll. Now I need some stone. And my controller's a little wonky. I'll be switching over to my getter one once it's charged. It should take about another 20 minutes or so. Sometimes stones are hard to find. Sometimes they're easy to find. I'm also looking for bird's nests as well. I currently have 5,400 hours into this game. So I will kind of show you a few little tricks I do to survive on day one. Lay this anywhere. Get that out of the way. I need one more stone, and I don't see any bird's nests. Let's go up this hill. And there's a bird's nest. Let's hope there's some feathers in it. Perfect. That should last me until I find some more. I need one more stone. Oop, only nine in that one. Don't want to run too close up there. <laughs> I have a crazy dog come running out and kill me. <laughs> feathers for my arrows, but I'm still currently looking for another stone. Another way you can get them is by punching these. I think it's ten, yeah, ten hit points to get one. Now I can make my stone axe. As that's going, I can quickly make my clothing.
I'm going to quickly get my wood. I just passed the stone there on the ground. Well, it wants me to wear the clothing. And I believe the club is next. I'll continue. Now I need stone. Now that I have my axe, I can go over to a regular boulder and just start banging away. Need to make two arrows. Let's get those two out of the way quickly. Do the bow and continue making some more stone. Now it wants me to do wood frames. I need three wood frames. I'm going to do a little bit more. Get those three out of the way. Put them down on my belt. Continue getting my stone because I need these for my arrows and my campfire. Need to lay the three and upgrade. to make my campfire. And there's that. Now I'm going to continue to make the rest of my arrows. Another 17 feathers on me, so I'm just going to grab some more stone. Enough to do the rest of my arrows and probably enough to make an extra campfire. Sometimes it gets really cold. Like I've had playthroughs where I've literally couldn't do anything without a campfire near me. Like hypothermia 3 couldn't move. I'm going to make a new axe and I'm going to scrap my old one. And now I have a level 2 axe. The more you use, the higher the quality. And what I'm going to do is make another bow. I'm going to scrap my level four because I've made a bunch of arrows. So that should put up my weapon smithing. So I'm going to have a higher quality bow, which will last longer. So it went from four to 33. Stick that on my belt, press my circle, now I'm ready to go. And let's get over to that cornfield. See what I can find on the way. I know my trader is over there. It would be in the winter biome, which I'm not a fan of on early game. It is cold out there and I do not have the clothing to insulate myself to keep myself warm. We're going to avoid Mo for right now. He is not my favorite early game. Technically, he's not my favorite overall. <laughs> so 
one up here. I should be able to see it over this hill. to go to the trader which I am going to it would most likely be trader reddick in the burnt forest that way I can use his workbench or even get one if I need one and I'll probably demonstrate on how to get a workbench All right, here we are. Okay, round them all up. Make sure they're all in the same area as me and then sneaking in behind me. So I'm going to run up here. And if any are going to spawn, they will spawn now. All right, let's go. Game on. One. Mo would be the toughest zombie in early game to get down. This is why I'm not a fan of him. That would be three. Right in the head. Number four. And this is the quicker one. Oops, I missed her. Five, and I'm still sensed. I hear somebody. Where are you? Coming from over here. There you are. This is my favorite zombie. She is so adorable. And she's one of the slowest ones. So I'm gonna take her down. And hopefully she may have some medical supplies on for me. Nothing. Alright. Looting zombies. I don't want that. In a pickle, I have eight in one of those. You got like a 50-50 chance of getting health from it or food poisoning. I'll take it just in case. <laughs> and I should be clear. All right, let's get in here. I found a flashlight. Let's put that on my belt because my first unsuccessful playthrough of this, my video settings were off and you couldn't see nothing. I had to turn my gamma up, but I literally found a mining helmet in the first car at my spawn house. But we restart it for some reason. A brand new game again, just to make it true. I didn't want to continue the game 
as it was. I just wanted to start from scratch. I'll take that. What do we have in here? Nitrate powder. I don't really need that. And I have no murky water in there. Let's check the garbage. I'll take that. I can scrap that to iron. Sometimes there's something hidden in the closet. Like garbage. And nothing. Let's go upstairs. Usually I would break the bottom of the ladder off, but I don't think any zombies are going to come out here. Sounds like there's somebody outside. I hear the corn. As I remember, there should be a cardboard box in here. What's inside of it? It's totally random. Okay, what do we win? Nothing. And a suitcase. An empty jar, I'll take that. Of all the hours I've played on this game, I have never found clothing in a suitcase. I'm going to keep this on my belt just in case I need to throw it on a wall again. I don't think I'll find another mining helmet before the end of the day. I'm going to loot the fridge. More jars. That is very handy. It's a cooking pot. Means I can actually go out to the river and fill up all these jars that I'm finding full of water and boil them to drinkable water. Take that. I can scrap that to iron. And we are going to go downstairs. This is the basement. And there is a gun safe back here with, I believe, a corpse. This is a quicker way to get in sometimes. We're not going to go through that gun safe on day one because it's just going to take too long to bust through it with this little stone axe, which is now on level four because I made a new one. For me, nothing. Okay. I cannot see where I'm going. <laughs> there we go. Let's try heading out to the trader before day's end. I've seen that. I'm going to need more arrows. I got any feathers out of that. I got another egg. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the bodies. I did not check that one. Okay. Keep the animal fat in early game so I can make torches. Until I find a mining helmet. Because this game can get really dark at some times. Please be one in here. No. I'm not even going to take that.
I do love my bridges. I find them quite safe. Zombies very rarely get up these. I have even done red moons up them. Now the goal is to get to the trader before he closes. So what I'm going to do is get rid of what I don't need in my inventory. I can scrap the can. Scrap that. I do not need that. Don't need that. Let's see if I can sell some of this stuff to the trader. This is not happening on day one. Definitely not happening on day one. Keep going. That was a bear we heard. <laughs> I do have 16 steel arrows on me. I will switch to that if I need to put the bear down if he does come near me. I'm undetected. All right. Whew. That was a close call. Get over to Mr. Trader. Rightfully, I would fight these zombies, but I just want to get to the trader beforehand. And I'm going to show you how you can get a workbench on day one. Get over this hill. I can run a little faster when I go to down it. All right. And there's a tree stump. Maybe he has something in here I can sell. Extra can of chili. Food is always good. doors open I am going to go in and say hello and he's gonna be very rude to me hey. let me guess you need to buy something no I'm actually going to sell sell anything that he may want to buy not a whole heck of a lot duct tape I don't need right now. The land claim block, I'll sell that. I don't need it. I don't need that. Actually, I could have kept that. <laughs> I could have made a mining helmet out of it. And that. Okay, we've got 137 dukes. Not very much. These I don't need. There's... I will not use a gun that will take these. That's just the way I play. Now we got 300 dukes. Oh, you want a guarantee, huh? Well, maybe you there should try things. Shamway. <laughs> Not a big fan of him. All right, let's see if there's a Z around. I need one zombie.
Here we go. So I'm going to get his attention. Hello. Okay, follow me. Okay. I'm going to call this Workbench 101. Are you following me? Come on. All right. So I'm going to switch over to my stone arrows. Just for demonstration that you can do this with stone arrows. I'm going to kill this zombie. really don't need you there. Come on. And I'm going to put you down. Alright. What I do is go one, two, three. So there's five hit points. I'm going to quickly run over and punch my workbench. I'm going to run back over to my body. And I'm going to punch, punch. And there we go. I have a workbench. And to demonstrate, there it is. Now we need to go back. Let's see if we can get back to the farmhouse. Hopefully the bear's not around. And we're gonna bunker there for the night. It is 20 hundred hours. I have until 22 to get there. Should make it worst case scenario if I don't make it if I'm playing a random gen or just out in a boat and I lose track of time I have pulled myself up a tree with my wooden frames I have done red moons up there I have spent the nights up them very occasionally the zombies can break down the tree, but you need an awful lot of zombies to do that. And I'm, I think the last time it happened, it was on a red moon and it was a high, a high day. Like it was like day 600 and something where I had cops and stuff and they were, And it wasn't my choice to be up the tree. It was like I spawned in right at Red Moon. And I literally had two zombies and a feral running right towards me. And I ended up in the tree. It was the only place to go. And I survived. But they did break down the tree. But I was successfully able to get to another tree. Working stiff tools. I have some zombies out here. Do I have time to take them down? Who do we got? Oops. all done before 2200 hours would be great worst case scenario I will run out of arrows I have eight left 
This one here does not want to be hit. Do not hit her. There you go. You are getting it right now. A little bit of a freeze there. I am out of arrows, but I do have those steel ones. Hold circle, switch down. We should take them out. I'm gonna crawl her here. and he is going to start running right now. Come on, Mo. Oh, did I hit you? I am out of arrows. Let's see if I can get him with this. And done. And that's how you do it. Well, this is the end of day one. And what we're going to do... We'll just head up to the bridge for the night. We should be okay. And in the morning, we'll recoup, make some more arrows, and start off with day two. We'll be back in the morning. See you then.